Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about two major tickers that I've been watching very closely, AMD and also SPCE. And we're going to start off with AMD right off the bat. There's a few things that I like about the AMD website. You know, they go to the bottom of the page. You can always, if you want to look for like company information or anything like that, they got the investor and they also have the newsroom right here. So let's go ahead and look at the newsroom and see what the newsroom pulls up on this website. AMD races past 25 to 20, 25 times 20 goal. This is kind of was in the news here. This is the latest news. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find that in the, in the news. Well, here it is right down here. AMD exceeds six-year goal to deliver unprecedented 25 times improvement in mobile processor energy efficiency so there's another milestone that they did hit and we're going to go ahead and check out the chart right now let me see if there's any more news in here that it's worthy game consoles to boost amd says top analysis so that's kind of interesting right there Game console will provide additional boost to AMD, says top analysis. Well, yabba dabba do. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at. So let's look at the chart, AMD. I noticed that we had a triple bottom right here at 49.78, and all the wicks were below that triple bottom, and the base of the candle held above that triple bottom. So I'm calling that a real probably solid support right now at 49.78 and I like to see it build back up into the channel of resistance and that level of resistance is going to be right here right around the little under $54 and if we can break that 54 we can elevate to these other three highs that we had they are descending with lower highs but I think we we pulled back enough with these last three days and we had like oh I don't know this one here is kind of a hammer so that's what I'm calling a pivot point area, and you'll see that in the chart coming up. But we have a, a, a low support right now at 49.78 to hold at the triple bottom with a resistance up here to break at 53.93. So let's go ahead and pull up the 20-day and see if I missed anything here. I mean, it's had a, just a beautiful little sell-off, four-day sell-off. So our pivot point area is going to be here between 52.17 and 52.36. We might consolidate a little bit right there and then have the breakout past the next three resistance levels, which would be 5291, 5349, and 5393. So those are uh, the numbers on AMD. If you feel free to go ahead and stop this video at any time and write these numbers down. But low support, triple bottom at 4978 with the resistance to break at 5395 with a pivot point channel right in here at 52.17 to 52.36. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be another one that I'm really pleased with, and that's going to be space. And I'm, first I'm going to try to pull up the website. I really like the website. I mean, it's all right here in front of you. It's a moving website, 3D. They have the purpose, the mission, the vision right in front on top. And then they have the news which had some great news last week. You have a video you can watch of, of Charles Brant, Mr. Branson himself, Kids Corner. I'm having him open that up, but I'm kind of curious, so let's look and see what this is about. Kids Corner. Educating the young kids, parents, and careers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go back to the news that it had. space you know i think it's playing in a channel of in a channel right now and it keeps pulling back to support and i know i'm going to tell you right now there's going to be a lot of people trying to short this stock and they're going to get squeezed because they don't know where the supports are or where the resistance to break are but here's what i really liked last week virgin galactica and i'm going to go ahead and run this little video right here had its first successful test flight and along with this new contract that they got you know I think with NASA it's going to be a real big 
real big thing, but I'm going to let you watch this video for a second, and I'm going to pull something up real fast. Give me a, there we go. Look at that thing drop down from that. Just perfect, perfect launch. This lasts for about two minutes, but it was the perfect launch. It, it just brought that thing right back up there. Flew right into space. And the other news that I really liked about this stock, Virgin Galacticus um, has... Let me see here. Virgin Galactic stock soars just more than because space tourism, because they got them a NASA agreement. And that NASA agreement is talking about maybe having some hypersonic commercial travel. So that's kind of exciting there. They'll also be going to the space station. It's called the uh, signing of the Space Act Agreement with NASA. And that's one of the other reasons why this stock spiked. So I think we might be on a reversal, maybe to start getting back up to resistance levels. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this chart up. There's a successful landing of Virgin Galactica. We'll go ahead and pull up the chart. We'll start off with the yearly. We call this thing out at seven bucks. Me and old Longhorn in our room. Right now we have a descending pattern on it on the 20 day, but let's look here into the yearly. See that? I mean, this is set up not on the 20 day, but actually we're setting up for a squeeze and it's probably going to happen this week if we can break out of it. Now the solid support levels have been right around the 1450 area. So we're going to go ahead and I want to erase all this so I can start fresh. I mean, it was kind of confusing. I've tried to redraw this last night. So you saw you seen the uh, wedge and I think we're getting ready for that reversal back up we do have a resistance level on this wedge right around I'm going to say this double top area right in here and let's go ahead and just do this we're going to go ahead and mark it right there bam Whoop. it'll be like a little resistance a hard resistance, a triple top resistance. So that $20, that's that's going to be our little target. Now the, under the $20 is going to be the resistance channel between $19.50, $19.45, and $20. That's where you might want to start keeping your eye on the trade. And if it doesn't break that resistance, it can pull back. But that could be a triple top resistance. You notice it's bounced off this 200 SMA three different times here in the past. Plus it did break here with a golden cross. There's your golden cross right here. Let me draw that in. And if anybody doesn't know what a golden cross is, that's when the 50 day crosses up over the 200 SMA. And that's a bullish signal. So if you would have seen that right there, you'd have probably jumped in the trade right around this area right in here and run it all the way up or to wherever resistance levels was. But notice that support level is going to be right in here right around the 1595. I'm going to put that in there because of this candlestick and this breakout pattern we had right in here. It's always good to look at the history of a trade or a chart because that history can bring you into the future and also history always repeats itself. Always. Always. You've got to remember that. History in the market repeats itself and has a very short attention span. What am I doing here? Let me get the dollar sign. We got another resistance level right in here. You see what I'm talking about. You see this resistance here? You see this resistance levels right in here? And you see this one right here. So we're going to draw that right on pretty much at 1776. The next sign of resistance or support level is going to be right here, right around the 1577 area. I'm pretty solid about that also with a lower support down here right around the 1470 off that 200 SMA and if it goes below that 200 we're going to look for one more little spot maybe it can dip to and I'm looking maybe at this breakout it had 
1383 right in here. Any lower than that, I'd start to worry. We could have a double bottom at 1214, but I think I think people are going to be misleaded because I think we're getting ready to hit that 200 again maybe and bounce up and try to break these triple top resistance here in the near future. So if I was playing this, I would go a little longer in date on an option call or maybe scalp it in the same day if the trend is moving up. Let's go ahead and go to the 20 day. I'm going to try to find some resistance levels and support levels that we had all week for the past 20 days. You see the 20 day resistance right here at what price is this may I ask myself right around the 1773 area 1770. We have another resistance up here right around the 1880 and then another one right here where that wick of that candle is at 1857. Then we have what you call a resistance right here. I'm going to put it right in here because I see these two resistance lines and I've seen the kind of brick up we're having right in here at 1695. So our resistance channel is going to be between that seven, that, this lower support right in here where we had that bottom at 1436 with a high up here right around the 1770 area. So we have pulled back. I think if we do have one more little pullback, it'll be right around in this area right in here. And we'll start to retrace back up between that 1436 and that 1470 and bounce back up and break the resistance pivot point area of 1595. And if you can break that 1595, you've got the other three resistance levels to go to. But right now we're playing down here in support area. And this is what I would call support in the channel. You see we had the upper half here, we had the lower half, then it broke out, then we had the pullback last week, we had the little breakout on the news, and then it pulled back again. So I think Friday was a real bad day for anything almost. There was only a few good tickers out there running. So if we can break this resistance right here, and that's on the 20 day is the 38 retracement on the Fibonacci chart. We oversold off the 50 on the 20 day. So we definitely can hit that fifty dollar tar that fifty percent target at seventeen bucks. Low support, fourteen thirty six. A pivot point area to break at fifteen ninety five, with the three resistances above it. One of them being right here at sixteen forty three. Another one right here at sixteen ninety two, and then the final one up here for the triple top breakout. Is going to be right here at 70, 1775. I think that'll be a hard resistance. It might take another catalyst or some momentum to take it past that. But this is going to be like a slow moving trade, but I think you can trade it if you follow the trends and the pullbacks and play the resistance levels. So this is it. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the website here. Always remember, hit that little Twitter bird. Follow us on Twitter. We're always posting alerts in here. Miss Vegas is. Right now, she's out having a little bit of fun. And we're going to go ahead and also on that website, we have our stock twits pages. Stock, stock, and there's hers. You can go hit that follow button on her. That'll be grand. She puts out a lot of ideas. And she's got 7,100 followers. I mean, ain't that impressive? A lot more than I have. We also have our YouTube channel. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit ring that bell for future updates. And hit that like button. Always remember, we love stocks.